what's going on everybody now I know a lot of you were kind of waiting for this tutorial so let's get this out the way this is the blacktop plus tutorial now blacktop plus what is that let me go to play now gotta go to blacktop this is a plug-in for the NBA 2k hook and what I've learned from just reviewing so many comments whether they be on my channel or in different forums is most of you that have the hook don't know how to use the hook um, to its full capabilities because you may be kind of new to modding maybe you just got into modding within the last year or last two years but most people don't know how to use the hook so what I'm gonna do here is press F8 this is a menu um, I'm gonna close that off so when you press F8 You've got the you've got the hook installed. If you've got mods running, you've got the hook installed. When you press F8, you get this menu. If you go up here, you can disable all your mods by turning that off, and you can re-enable them by pressing this. And if you have different mod folders, you can click resources, and then like these are all my mod folders. So like right now, I have the high school mod turned off. I have my own kids mod that I turned off. Uh, NCAA women's mod that I made turned off and then there was a street mod that I was working on but it's now obsolete so that's turned off but anyway I've got other mods that are turned on other mod folders and I'll show you the folders let me let me find them hold on they're in my NBA 2k 22 directory so as you can see I have a folder called mods and right there mods it's enabled um, uh, this folder called mods disabled it's disabled <laughs> okay so I actually need to delete that one to be honest but anyway um, let's see like the high school mods down there now the mods here the order is the priority the priority is top to bottom so what it does is it's basically like whatever is at the top whatever is at the top the game is going to make sure those mods are shown first and foremost and then anything below that will be shown so let's say I have the same file in this in this mod and this mod I have the same file names well it's going to show me the mod from this folder because this has the higher priority I hope you guys kind of understand what I mean by all of that if you don't um I, I, I don't know. I'm not the greatest at explaining things. I just try to do the best I can. So anyway, hopefully this helps you guys somewhat. But you guys need to get a little bit familiar with this whole hook menu. A lot of you don't even know it's there. So anyway, I'm going to go to my plugins manager. I'm going to click off of this plugins manager. And as you can see, I have Blacktop Plus, Player Editor Plus, Roster modding, it tells you what it does here. Uh, unlock debug menu, which actually I think needs to be updated. So, anyway, Blacktop Plus. This is just a test version of the Blacktop Plus. When the real version comes out, it'll have a description of what it does. But I'll show you guys today what I was able to find. If you want to get off this menu, you just press F8 again. All right, so when you go to Blacktop, there's going to be a new option down here. See, has that right bumper button. If you press that, well, you don't need to press it yet. First, you know, get to whatever you want to do. You want to do 3v3, then, you know, load up whatever roster you want to be loaded. Then go in there and start picking your players. We'll just do, doesn't matter. All right, so we've got we've got six players here. So now I'm going to hit the right bumper for the Blacktop Plus options. You can see stadiums, clothing, and settings. So for settings, uh, you can you can select the same player multiple times. Right now it's disabled, but you can enable it. Uh, here it says reset to ran reset the stadium to random after the game. That's enabled. That's fine for me. Clothing type. You can choose jerseys, warm-ups, or custom clothes. I'm not even going to touch that because I don't care because I already set up some clothing options, actually. 
So for stadium, I need to delete this, but let me go back. So you can add a stadium here with this add option. You can select between random stadiums by using this option. You can change the preview, what the preview picture is. I just haven't set that up yet. Now I'm going to press A and then this menu comes up. I'm actually going to delete this one. Don't need that one. This one is supposed to be Rico Hines. I'm going to test it to see if it works. So I'm going to select, choose select, has a check mark. Okay, I'm going to press B. We're good. Now for the clothing, when you go to the clothing option, you can select the clothing if you already set up some clothing options, or you can manage the clothing options, which allows you to create different outfit sets. So I'll show you what I've already set up. So you can set up a folder for each group of clothing that you want. So I'll show you my shirtless set by I click open. And then as you can see, here are all my shirtless. Now I can name this folder whatever I want. It didn't have to be called shirtless, but and you can name each outfit whatever you want. So like here I named it skin five, skin four, skin one, you know, just something easy. And if I want to add a new one, I just click add. And then here, you got to click this with your mouse and then type in the name of the outfit. So we'll just name this skin 06. And then I can use my controller to press down and select the top. I go all the way up. You can see me moving over here. Shirtless, no shirt, cool. And then I can pick whatever bottoms I want them to have. I don't know what this stuff is. Now you can't press over. You can't press to the right. You have to actually scroll up and then press right. Uh, we'll rock with those. That's fine. And then you can add different accessories. You can add like, let's just do arm sleeve. Actually, oh, let's do this. Yeah, we'll do that. And then you can add another accessory if you want. Something like a backpack. And so if you want to see the character from different views, use the left bumper and right bumper. So he's wearing a San Antonio Spurs backpack. I'll actually change that to something else. I'll just pick random stuff. Oh, these are all basketball teams. So let me go to holiday, see what they got. All right, we're not going to rock with any of those. That'll work. And then if you want to add more accessories and stuff, just click add. And then you have the option to add more stuff. All right, so I'll give them a hat. Uh, it's, it's so many hat options, so I'm going to just, like, come to a random spot. There we go. Then I'll go back to the front view. Yeah, that's fine. I'll rock with that. That's fine. Don't care. Now the shoes, they're just going to wear whatever shoes they have assigned. Uh, you can change the player that's in the preview. Um, <clears throat> give me a second. I'll find. Let me see if I can find a player. This is 22. Oh, these these portraits are too big. Let's do Jalen Green, maybe? Nah. I don't know. Let's do Evan Mobley, 80-52. So we'll do 80-52. Type it in. Oops. Type it in down here. Click there. Type it in, 80-52. Click Apply. And you can have this apply as your default ID and then Evan Mobley would always show up as the preview guy, but I just want it for this one here. So there he is. And then <clears throat> when I click save, what's going to happen is it's going to get, it's going to save this preview. Or if I turn them to, like, if I turn them here, it'll save this preview. So let's go. See? So it saved that as the preview. But now when I go to add a new outfit, it goes back to that default player ID. So anyway, um, be careful when you're in this screen, because if you accidentally press B when you're right here, 
it'll just delete everything that you set up <clears throat> for that particular outfit but anyway so we've got that let me back out of here and then like I have another folder these are I just called them street I don't know why click open and then these are just more outfits doesn't matter to me but anyway that's this is just if you want to you know set up outfits now to select outfits for the players go to select once you've selected all the players then you can you can choose do you want to do the NBA jerseys route you can make them wear whatever NBA jersey according to the team they're assigned to or you can make them wear a warm-up like you see Seth Curry in it says random warm-ups but I feel like it gives them a particular warm-up but anyway uh, don't want him to wear that so I'll just put him in this yeah we'll rock like that well he can rock like this and then all right just press B till you get back to this screen then we get you know we'll get something else going oh yeah Jalen Brunson. Actually, I should have did shirts versus skins. So we'll we'll do shirts versus skins. So let me go back over to Grayson Allen. Give him some kind of gear. All right. So down on this team, these these will be the skins. So shirtless. All right, all the depot. <laughs> That's funny. Wait, all the depot has brains? Oh no, that's a hat. Is he wearing a hat? I can't tell. He's supposed to be wearing a hat. Did that man have brains? Something's wrong. Oladipo's head is too big for a hat. So, anyway, I'll just give Oladipo uh, this look right here. Nah, this one will work. All right, John Wall time. Let's see if John Wall's tats show up. Uh, yeah, mostly. <laughs> Some are missing from his stomach area, but that's fine. All right, so we've got John Wall. Okay, so anyway, so you just back out of that screen, back out, back out. And stadium, I already selected the stadium. So from there, you just start up the game. So let's see what this all comes out to look like. I know this was a longer tutorial, but hopefully it's helpful. Now, I, this is not going to be a free plugin, I don't think, because when I downloaded this test version, I had to make sure it is only applying to my PC. So I guess this is one of those, those mods that will only apply to your specific PC, and people only do that when it's a mod that requires you to pay for it. Now, I won't... I won't say that I, um, well, I guess I did pay for this because I donated at the beginning of the year um, and asked for a feature similar to this. As soon as I saw Louie was making plugins, I just went ahead and donated because this tool is, is so helpful. And, you know, from time to time, I try to donate <clears throat> when I can. It's I feel like, you know, just donating from time to time to you know to the causes that you actually support is better than like going out here and trying to pay for mods for people you don't really support that much like Louie 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 he's a big part of the community we've helped him in the past he's helped us in the past so this is this is what it looks like so this is the Rico Hines um, core if you now this court is made by the infamous NY. He actually made it. I can't remember what year he made it. Maybe, maybe it was back for 2K20, I think. 
but I was able to get it to work in 2K22 by using the shared folder files. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just pressing buttons, guys, because I'm trying to think of everything I want to go over in this video. But anyway, so I have, as you guys know, I probably have about 90 custom gems. So I could just have the gems. Um, you can set it to where the stadiums are randomly selected, which is what will happen. Like, so after I play this game, the stadiums will randomly be selected, but I only have one stadium set up. But once I get all my other stadiums set up with this plugin, then it'll randomly select, uh, will randomly select different arenas and gyms for them to play in. And then, of course, I've got to set up probably some more outfits We're doing shirts versus skins. Um, I think this is really useful for people who don't really want to spend all their time trying to grind for virtual currency. Like, I think this is a much better option. Instead of trying to do the whole seasons thing and you're trying to become a level 40 or a legend and blah, blah, like blah, blah, blah. I don't want to do all that. I just want to get on here, look how I want to look, play. Now this mod, along with the high school mod, like this stuff is incredible. Where we're going, where the game is being taken as far as mods is incredible. But having said that, um, I, I sometimes wonder, like, sometimes I wonder, is my time, is my time on this platform like winding down? Is it time for me to, you know, let somebody else take over because I don't feel like I've been as innovative as I have been in past years as far as showing you guys all kinds of tutorials and stuff. I feel like I've slowed down a little bit, but in the past, I would, man, I would spend so many hours learning how to do stuff so I could show you guys and stuff like that, but that's kind of unhealthy. But anyway, let me get a, let me see if I can get a, uh, uh, my instant replay isn't working. I don't know why. There it is. Okay, something. What happened? I'm trying to see this. Where's the dunk? Come on, man. There it is. Anyway, I'm trying to get a thumbnail. This video is probably way longer than it needed to be, but. Yeah, this might be a good thumbnail. Hmm. Uh, I can't get quite the angle that I want to get, but maybe I'll go something like this. And change up the reshade. I'll rock with this one. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So anyway, um, I forgot what I was saying. I've shown you <laughs> how to do everything. Uh, if you guys have questions, I guess just let me know in the comments. I don't, this is not yet available. I was just testing it out, showing you guys how to work it. I probably, I'll probably go back over, um, you know, how to do the stadiums and how to do the outfits. I'll probably break those down separately in individual shorter videos, um, later this week so that you guys don't have to come and watch this long tutorial all over again but anyway i just wanted to get this out there so you guys had something uh man can i get this in a better view man i really i don't know we'll just rock with it like that anyway all right guys till next time i'm out